In my opinion, there should be singing programs in every hospital. There's physical changes that are positive. It's mild exercise. There's studies that show that there's immune um, improvement. Not only does it improve their voices, but improves swallowing as well. So from a healthcare point of view, that's, that's really important. But I guess the goal from a speech pathology point of view is to have the speaking voice improve. I mean, they're not auditioned to be in this choir. It doesn't matter if they sing in tune. It doesn't matter if they are musical or whatever, just as long as they're enjoying it. And most people do enjoy to use their voices. When I was in Saskatoon, I set up um, an adult outpatient speech and language center. At that point in time, uh, there was not a training program for LSVT, which is the program speech pathologists use for Parkinson's patients. But I learned about it from videotapes and I started doing it. I'm since certified. It's all vocalization. It's developing the voice with very specific drills so that they can be tested and proven to be effective. But singing does the same thing and it's a lot more fun. And they do feel that their voices change. I was to the point where I couldn't verbalize very many words, and it has just improved. And every, every time I go, my family, my friends can hear the difference. I've always had a quiet voice. I'm Irish. I have a soft accent, and so add that to Parkinson's, and I become very soft. I think it has helped strengthen my voice. It's made it easier to speak to people, that my voice carries better, in the presentation it carries better, asking questions in, among a group. I'm her. And that's a problem in Parkinson's because the voice disorder that they usually get is a quieter, progressively quieter and quieter voice. One lady said that it just totally changes, changed her mood. She said it's just totally changed her whole attitude towards her disease. She's singing to herself a lot. She's listening to music now. Yeah.